The only sign that I know that wears their heart on their sleeve is the Cancer. In today's video, we're going to go more in depth in my newly added Zodiac series where I touch base on each sign from January to December and discover traits about each sign from when they're born each year to career paths that they're most likely going to gravitate towards. And in today's video, we are going to understand our emotionally intelligent Cancer brothers and sisters. or afternoon everybody welcome back to my channel and if you haven't seen my face before hi my name is Kanoi and I make videos on business spirituality and lifestyle tips to help you learn earn and grow if you're interested in this kind of content don't forget to follow me on my socials right here go ahead and hit the like button as well as the subscribe button and the post notifications so you won't miss any future uploads from me before we get started here's today's shout out and if you want more information on how to get a shout out, go ahead and stay tuned to the end of this video. Our Cancer is born between June 21st to July 22nd. Their element is going to be a cardinal water sign. And the planet ruling is the moon, which represents family, fertility, and the soul itself. All right, Cancers. Cancers, calling all the Cancers. A lot of the traits from the crab very, very much resonate to our Cancer. And let me go ahead and explain why. <laughs> Cancers are extremely attached to the people that they truly care for. If, they, if you're a person that they value in their lives, they will look up to you and they will always be there for you and they always will resonate with a more caring and positive point of view over anything negative especially in problematic situations with the moon being their ruling planet it makes them extremely emotional and in my opinion the cancers are the most emotional sign out of all of the zodiacs and this isn't to say that it's a good or bad thing. When it comes to arguments and problematic situations, cancers don't fight, okay? They don't like to do physical fighting activity. They don't do that. They don't stand for it. They fight verbally. So they use their words to hurt you. This is a downfall. You shouldn't ever get yourself in that kind of situation. But if you are in that situation with the Cancer, just know that roasting is their forte. And Cancers also have a strong sense of intuition. They know where they're going. They know what to do with their lives. They just don't know where to start. And because they're so deeply connected to a lot of people, it is a very easy way for them to be emotionally manipulative, which is an extreme downfall, especially if a Cancer knows that they will get something out of you, they will use that on you without you knowing. It's something that Cancers master throughout their whole lives that not a lot of us really notice, but it does happen and um, you don't realize it until after the fact. And usually when you communicate with the Cancer, you always want to communicate positively. You always want to uplift them because their viewpoint on life is usually not so positive. Especially in their lives, if something is going wrong or if something just doesn't go as they planned, they usually outlook that as negative. They always think of that as a burden. They, they usually think of that as a burden or a hardship. So when you approach them talking about that thing, you want to be positive because you don't want to feed their egos and have them think that they did everything wrong because they will take it personally. Now let's move on to friends and family. Cancers are the number one zodiac that value their family over everything. Even their closest of friends, they value their family over them. And when it comes to friends, it takes a little longer to be able to get close with the Cancer because they don't know you well enough for them to be able to trust you and for them to be able to open up to you. So if you're looking to become a friend with a Cancer, or if you are a friend with a Cancer, you can resonate. Loyalty is something that they value a lot, especially in friendship. 
they want you to prove your loyalty to them for them to be able to open up to you. And one of the best things about being friends with the Cancer is that they are there for you emotionally. Um, if you are going through some type of hardship or an unstable relationship, they will put their opinions and their thoughts aside and just be there for you, which is something that a lot of people don't get to experience because they're not friends with the Cancer or they have experienced before, but just not a lot especially if they are going through a lot of negative things every day you know moving on to relationships in a relationship the cancer wants somebody that they can trust like i said before loyalty is everything to a cancer and they're also one of the biggest signs for inside jokes they like to have inside jokes with their significant other they want to be able to look at you and you know what they're thinking for example if you guys are out at a party or if you're out somewhere doing something and they feel uncomfortable and they want to go home they will look at you a certain way and they will expect you to know how they're feeling in that moment and for you to take them home and this is something that is extremely hard to find especially relationship wise but cancers always manage to find that one person that just clicks with them in that way and most of all they love to learn more about you as their significant other they love to learn your hobbies they want to know your pet peeves they want to know everything about you because they will eventually be able to share all of those things about them with you and really find the commonalities and differences and if there are differences and and preferences that don't align they want to be able to learn more about that and they want to be able to see how they can adapt so for example let's say you're a sporty person and you like going out and doing sports and your cancer significant other likes to stay home and they like to just do whatever it is they like to do at home they will most likely go out with you a couple of times and you know do activities with you that you like to do just to get to know you better and to be able to be closer to you. Moving on to career paths. It's not a surprise that it's easy for cancers to make money. They like to see things grow and they like to see things that are theirs that grow. So a lot of cancers like to invest and they like to save money and put it aside and they like to just see that grow and pile up and it's kind of just like an accomplished type of feeling to the cancer so that being said they are very particular with the details when it comes to the workplace they are most likely going to gravitate towards a job that has to do with details they're not the type of people to look at the big picture and they focus on just everything that counts to make it a big picture and that is extremely helpful in the workplace, especially if you are trying to hire somebody that is very particular with the type of work that they're doing and very focused on the things that you need them to be focused on. So with that being said, a few career paths that a cancer might gravitate towards are interior designers, nurses, teachers, and secretaries. So a few compatible signs with our cancer are Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, and Capricorn. Cancers love art and they love home-based activities. That's what I've noticed a lot. Okay, if a cancer loves art, they'd rather do art at home and they'd rather not go to like art exhibition unless they're being paid for it or unless they're selling something. But if it's kind of like a hobby type of thing, they love doing a lot of creative things at home. And a lot of the cancers that I know love water. They love to be around water. Um, they usually have pools at their houses or they love to just go out and swim somewhere. They also love to help the people that are close to them and be there for the people that are close to them. And they also love having a really good meal with the people that they value the most. A few dislikes, okay? They hate strangers. They don't know, if they don't know anything about you, they don't trust you and they don't like you unless you step forth to them and open yourself up to them and let them know that you're not threatening and that you 
actually want to get to know them then that's a different story but if you're just a stranger to them they most likely don't like you they hate criticism especially from the people that they value the most i noticed this a lot and it's something that the cancer needs to work on and they need to realize that them and their own person they are amazing and that they don't need to prove themselves to anybody but somehow some way criticism from somebody that they value a lot really is something that they don't like because they take these types of things personally they really set an agenda out for them to be able to prove themselves and it's something that you shouldn't as a cancer you shouldn't even think about because it's that person's opinion and they don't live your life so they shouldn't have a say in what you can and can't do as a person in general and once a cancer realizes that they are unstoppable and they also don't like revealing a lot of things about themselves especially to strangers so they don't like to dabble in their personal life they don't like to say a lot about themselves especially if they don't know you well enough so if you are just a random stranger that comes up to a cancer and asks them a lot of personal questions they will walk away from you and they will not turn around and answer your questions because they don't know you and they don't want to tell you any of that stuff so if you're if you're the spontaneous type of person to want to be with a cancer like that friend you, you need to start in the friend zone which sucks but that's how it is with the cancer a few famous celebrities that are in fact cancers are solange ariana grande elon musk and meryl streep so that concludes today's video on my latest release for the Zodiac series. I hope that this video was helpful for you and I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions or ideas for future uploads, go ahead and leave them in the comments below letting me know what I can be posting in my next video in order to be featured in my next video. With that being said, thank you guys for watching and I'll go ahead and see you guys next time.